Hundreds of condolences continue to come in tonight on the passing of longtime anchor Lee Vanamede. Lee retired from WZZM in April of 2016, and what a career here. It lasted almost four decades. I was his co-anchor for 23 of them. Here's a look back at some of our great memories. Some of the congestion downtown. May of 1977. That's when Lee Vanamede was introduced to the viewers of West Michigan on WZZM 13 News. The young, ambitious reporter covered the Grand Rapids beat, asking the tough questions. The area now occupied by the Welsh building will be. In just two years, Lee went from reporter to weekend anchor to weeknight anchor. He joined Barry Shanley on the desk in 1979. The two were known for trying to crack each other up during a newscast. New Southern California robots. <laughs> They're fast making their way into acting. <laughs> Thanks for leaving it to me. Lee's first female co-anchor was Ann Allward. Then in April of 1991, a new era with a new co-anchor that lasted for 23 and a half years. You're watching Juliet Dragas, Lee Vanamy, and George Lessons on WZZM 13 News. In 2002, George Lessons became chief meteorologist, joining the weeknight news team. He would always be singing or making some kind of joke. Ooh, Van Andel puppy. <laughs> <laughs> A very professional uh, news anchor, um, very steadfast in what he did, um, always very knowledgeable. I have always looked up to Lee as a friend and as a colleague. Since 1977, he's covered nine presidential campaigns, the governor's annual State of the State address, as well as the big local and state races, still asking the tough questions. Why didn't you just go home in the final hours? At home, he's a devoted father and husband. His son, Alex, is following in his father's footsteps and is a local newscast producer in Florida. I oh, love seeing that old video. His family asked me to share this statement tonight. Lee lived his life doing what he loved since he was a child. To him, covering the news was not work. It was a calling. However, his greatest passion was his family. He was a loving husband and father. He believed in a better future for all and that our best days were ahead. But with Lee's passing, some very fine days are behind us. We will look forward to the day we will see him again, clear of mind, strong and sure, and laughing again. A public visitation for Lee will be held on Thursday, September 26th at Metcalf and John Coff Funeral Home on Cascade Road from 4 until 8 p.m. Lee Vanamede was 66 years old. Rest in peace, dear friend.